Okay, and we are on the road. On the road back to Nevada. This is cool. We're going to be in, like, central, like, central Nevada. Like, eastern Nevada. Which I haven't been there yet. So, that'll be pretty interesting. We'll be able to check out the scenery. It's probably going to be desert. <laughs> Spoilers. Probably desert. So. Oh, man. I really do enjoy this game, though. I mean, it's just, it's a lot of fun. With mods, you get some nice things like, you know, actual cars that you might see, pickup trucks, BMWs, and then you get RVs and U-Haul vans and all types of stuff, which is really cool. Oop, nope, let's go on six, because we can, uh, maybe not six. We don't, we might not have the power for six, a six gear start. Okay. How big is this trailer, by the way? I don't think we noticed. The 53. Really? This is the 53. Seems a little short. I think this might be a 48. I don't think this is a 53. I mean, the last one was definitely a 53. And if this is a 53, the tandems are all the way back. And it seems like a 48 to me. But that's just me. Also, if you've noticed, um, I get terrible performance when I'm inside the cab. I don't get what that's about either. Like the interiors of the trucks are what ruin my performance, which is a very, very strange thing to have ruin your performance. All right, do we need headlights? Well, I don't think we're there yet. What time is it? Do we have a clock on this? 6.30, it is 78 degrees, we've also gone almost 6,000 miles on this truck already. Wow, that's actually a lot. Wow. 6,000 miles already? Jeez. I was not expecting that. Oh, it's 55 here. We can speed up. Oh. Gonna go to 40. <laughs> so, there's that. I should have got a drink. Um, I'm really thirsty. I'm regretting not getting a drink. Because we're going to have some problems later. Look at this road. Did we come in on this one? I don't think I remembered all the uh, big uh, power lines. I don't think we did come in on this road. We might have. No, we did. Yep, we did. I just didn't really pay attention to it. It's a nice road. At least we're going to get to see the same pond again. That's nice. See, look, and now the frame's out of the city, in the truck, everything's good. Just when you're in the city, it's just so much detail in such a little place. It just destroys your frames. I don't know. I don't get it. I am not sure. I need to figure it out, though. 55 is the speed limit. That's a little quick. I mean, I'm going to try to just do something here to not have these cars be held up. Turn my headlights on, too. It's 7.30 now, pretty much. I've always wondered if I can turn off on those little dirt roads that they have on the side. I don't know. But yeah, so I've been thinking about it. I do want to get a the W900, the new Kenworth. Um, but like I said before, I'm going to have to pay off some debt before we can do that. And uh, once I pay off the debt, then I save up enough money. The first thing I'll probably be purchasing is... Um, a garage upgrade because I don't believe I have a second spot in my current garage to hold another truck. So I'm going to need to update that first, which I think is about $100,000. Um, and then I'm going to need to build up another probably about 200000 and then purchase the, uh, the Kenworth. So it's going to be a while. Unless I want to take out a massive loan, it's going to be a little while and I'd really not rather be under a loan. Um, I think if anything... If we get another loan payment installation during this trip, we'll stop and just pay off the loan at the end of this run and just get it over with. So, because we have about $80,000 left to pay on the loan, but we currently have about 125000 I think, is where we're at. So, we're going to lose a decent amount of money, but we should have enough to kind of get by, pay for fuel pay for, you know, whatever else we're going to need, repairs or, or anything like that. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. How much? How? Okay. Yeah, it was what? 480 miles was this trip total? 480 something, I think. 488, possibly. 
480 something is what it was for sure. I just can't remember. We've already, we're, you know, we've already gone 80 miles practically. So it's a pretty quick trip. It's it's quick and not in in a weird way. It's like a it's a decent distance away. Like I really want to do one of the trips from I don't know like the top of California, probably Eureka or Redding. I don't think there's anything above those two. So probably that to San Diego, which we had one, we could have done it. I just didn't want to go down through LA and all that area again. Um, but it would be nice to see how long something like that would take. We'll have to do that one day. But for the most part, we're getting into the, uh, we put enough skill points in long distance that we're getting to, um, we're getting into the, uh, the 400 mile range on trips some of them 500 so we're getting pretty decent uh trips we just i haven't taken many of the long hauls yet kind of just doing these short little 400 mile trips here and there so we did pass 6,000 miles though on this truck which is pretty cool so this truck has driven over 6,000 miles since i bought it brand new which is a uh, that's that's a lot that's a lot, especially for American Truck Sim. That's a lot of runs. That is a decent amount of runs. All right. On the highway now. We'll stay in the center lane just until we figure out exactly what we're doing. And then we can start setting some cruise control here. That's a blinker. We don't need that. So, Carson City, I'm assuming we're just going to head towards Carson City because Nevada, or I'm sorry, Reno is up north, so, or I'm sorry, south, but we want to continue east. We're going east, BLC. That'd be nice when they add uh, Arizona. I think Arizona is going to be the next state they mentioned. Um, after that, I don't really know. I'm assuming states that connect to Arizona. Uh, or if I was them, I would do Arizona, and I then would just go ahead and release um, Oregon and Washington and just get those out of the way. Since then, you don't have to worry about going up. You can then just start worrying about going east from there since you have pretty much everything on the west coast border, on, or at least on the water. Then you can just go east and not have to worry about it. So that's what I would do if I was them. Um, but who knows? I mean, I don't, I don't really know. The scenery in Oregon and Washington is very nice. Every time I've, I've driven uh, pretty much to past uh, Portland uh, in Oregon from California. And when you start getting into to Oregon, the scenery is very, very nice. Lots of trees. They're very green. Good views, mountains, stuff like that. It would be really nice to truck in it. That'd be really cool. So... I don't know. Maybe. That'd be cool to see. But then again, Arizona, that, that would probably be pretty cool. Different kind of desert. I, want, I really want to see when they start getting into the uh, the East Coast. That's what I want to see. I want to see like Pennsylvania and uh, New York and Florida and stuff like that. Because there's a big trucking route from like New York area or like New Jersey, that sort of area to Florida, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's it's a pretty big trucking route out there. I'd love to be able to see that. Let's go ahead and downshift, continue our cruise control here. We are losing some speed. I got my cruise set at 65, but we are doing under 55 currently, which is not ideal. I would like to be going faster, considering that every single person is passing me. And I'm trying to catch up. There's a truck up here hauling what looks like lumber. I'm trying to catch up to him, see what kind of speeds he's doing. 60 degrees out, 10.15 p.m. Nice. Nice and relaxing. I really want to go on a long drive. Just take a nice long cruise somewhere. I've been trying to go out to uh, the Redwood National Forest out here. Uh, just because I've lived in California my whole life. And I've never been to the Redwoods. And I would love to go up there. Because it would be a nice trip. It wouldn't be too far away it would be a decent distance but not crazy far and uh, then you would get to see something amazing which is those big huge fucking redwoods out there I think that's even the place where they have the one that you can drive through uh, you can drive through it I believe um, it's just a huge tree that's like hollowed out in the center and you can drive your car through it 
don't really know, but I would love to go up there and just look at redwoods anyway. Also, there's a there's that one little cliffside near the Golden Gate. I would love to go there too. So, I don't know. There's just things that I've been thinking about recently where I've been like, you know, I've lived in the Bay Area my entire life, and there's a lot of things I've never done. One of those things is going to Alcatraz. I've never been there. Don't know what that's like. Then I've lived within driving distance of it my entire life, so why haven't I gone? <laughs> I should just go. I need to get over here. I'm clear on the right. Those hood mirrors really come in handy. They hurt performance, but they really come in handy. And that's one of those things that I am willing to uh, to suffer performance loss to be able to have those hood mirrors because they really do come in handy. And I saw some people in the comments, some of them, uh, some people don't like them. Um, but there was a uh, some people saying that don't get rid of the hood mirrors because it's an it's an added thing that we that the viewer gets to look at as I drive. And I was like, that is a I didn't even think about that. That's a good idea. So I don't want to get rid of them. I do like them. Sugar fucks. You serious? Jesus, dude. It's like he didn't even look coming off the freeway. God. Ugh. <sighs> But anyway, yeah, that's one of those things I'm willing to lose performance on. Having those mirrors, I really do like them. They help out. I also saw someone that said my truck looks like shit. I don't know why that's supposed to... I don't know what that is supposed to accomplish. Like, I'm going to cry. Oh, this random guy thinks my truck is terrible. Like, okay. First of all, there's three selections of trucks and, like, ten things you can do to each truck. So... Don't know what to tell you. You really can't make them look pretty. And it's not about pretty. I want to go for basic. That's what I'm about. I is basic. But I would like the W900. It would be cool. Just a different style. Just having that big hood in front of you. I haven't gotten into modded trucks yet. I don't know if I'm going to. Um... It's just hard to find the right modded truck. It's the same thing that I talked about all the time in Euro Truck. It's just really hard to find the right one. So, I'm just going to stick with the stock ones for now. Hopefully, they'll keep updating it. I'm not sure what's happening. I know they're waiting on licensing to get to release a lot of things. Not sure what the deal with uh, Volkswagen is. Not Volkswagen, Volvo. I know they have the VNLs, or they were supposed to. I'm not sure if they're still waiting for the licensing from that or something. Don't really know, to be honest. Um, I know they got the Mercedes licensing, and I'm I, they must be waiting for something to finalize to release Freightliner. Um, because I know, I remember, like, a long time ago, they announced that they got the licensing from Mercedes, which was a big deal. It's just that they're, I think they're waiting for some sort of paperwork or something to finalize for them to say, you know, okay, you can finally, you can add that to the game now. So that'd be nice when Freightliner's in the game. Uh, Vol uh, Volvo, that would be nice to see. Um, maybe even Mac. We can put some Mac trucks. That would be pretty interesting. You really don't see many of those. So, uh, what other trucks out there? There's Peterbilt, Kenworth, Freightliner, International. We'd like to see some Internationals. Um, yeah. I mean, who knows? I, I, I don't really know. I don't think they talked much about... Um, what what vehicles uh, or what trucks they are putting in when this is a crazy ass road by the way this is ridiculous I'm getting a lot of speed I'm doing 70 miles an hour right now this is not well I would be concerned but the road is so pretty much straight not flat it's pretty hilly but it's straight for the most part so I'm not really that concerned about it let's just fucking go get it while we can. This is a rush delivery too, so it is an urgent delivery. So we do need to get there pretty quickly. Uh, we need to get there 4.45 p.m. on Saturday uh, or 6.15 p.m. on Saturday, and we're projected to get there currently at 5.05 a.m. on Saturday. So it's not that rushed of a delivery, but it's pretty rushed. It also says 5.05 just because we're hauling ass if we were to slow down, things would be a little different. So, uh, starting to starting to lose it. The voice. Oh god! And it goes into a thirty. What kind of nonsense? 
Who would have a 70 dump into a 30? That seems like a terrible idea. Oh, that's not good. That was the truck I've been following for a while. The lumber truck. That's a nice fuel station right there. Looks, look at that. Look at the inside. Jesus Christ, the inside looks super detailed. <laughs> There's like individual textured bags of chips. A little bit excessive. And then back into a 70. God, that must be a scary... T that is a big dog barking outside. What is happening? I don't know if you heard it. Probably not. So I'm just crazy. I'm just like, oh, there's a big dog. You guys didn't hear anything. All right, we're cooking. We are cooking. Let's do it. Look at this. Let's put on the high beams. Why not? Nobody in front of us. Man, we are in the middle of nowhere. Wow. Really cool, though. I love the diversity in just the different areas. You know, you can go into San Francisco area. It's really city. You have the little dead area in between San Francisco and L.A. You have Redding, which is very tree, green, you know, hilly, kind of hidden away. Then you have Nevada, which is very desert. It's just a good... Just You could just uh, g drive to a whole new area with a whole new look. Euro Truck wasn't really like that. The streets were a little bit different, for, but for the most part it was about the same. They really didn't... It wasn't a huge difference. So... It's just nice that a lot of this stuff just it changes so much and it just gives you such a different driving experience when going from point A to point B. I mean, we're running a little tiny trip from the top of California to like the top of Nevada and look how much it's changed you know we were in a green hilly area so it's pretty cool I like it I'm still blown away obviously I still get blown away by this game and by how good it looks and how crazy the scenery can change and just some of the things you can see it's just it's just it's I mean we waited for it for a long time so it's kind of the same thing we did with GTA 5 when we got when we got all got GTA 5 we were just driving around going oh my god look at all this stuff and then we got gta 5 on next gen and we were like whoa this is this is right and then we got gta 5 on pc and we were like holy shit <laughs> this is crazy so one of those things you just kind of it takes a long time to settle like how crazy good some things are especially when you waited for so long we waited a long time for gta waited a long time for american truck sim so kind of has the same reaction and look at this we are just there's nobody around dead quiet middle of the night 3 30 in the morning 69 degrees and just nobody we can just do we can just haul and do it whatever we want not really whatever we want but we can get a little crazy my truck did just make a noise Which was a little bit interesting. Oh, oh, oh. oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, we're slowing down. This is where we slow down. This is where we don't do that anymore. I almost lost control. I felt the back end start to kind of slide out a little bit. That yeah, wasn't good. Is there a light here? No, I don't see one. All right, we're making a right-hand turn. This next light. After the cocktails. And after this sign that just says food. That's pretty interesting. Food and fish. Huh. There's a club. Look at that. Is that a strip club? It looks like a strip club. Pretty sure that's a strip club. Uh... And, and it's like connected to a hotel. How creepy is that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure about that. That's a little weird. All right. We're delivering to Wahlberg. Oh, it's this drop off. Okay. All right. We can do this. Oh, <laughs> that was a little too close. I'm not going to lie. I was nervous that I was just going to run into that. 
but I also have to make sure that the trailer gets in. And as of right now, it's just pivoting, which is not what I want it to do. Okay. Do a couple things here. Let's go to parking lights, just because we don't need full headlights. We're also going to need to fix this trailer situation we got going on here. Um, how are we going to do that? Well, let's back up. Okay, the trailer is definitely driving up on that island there. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to drive a little forward. Hopefully not run into this car. We're good. Here we go. I'm going to come down this way. And I'm just going to turn it around both corners. Because the trailer wasn't really wanting to uh, pull into the lot in the first place. So... We do have to be concerned about hitting these parked cars. Okay, we're doing all right. Let's just get it. There we go. Swing around. Watch the cars. Watch the cars. Keep watching them. We're doing good. Slow and steady. There we go. So now we got the trailer at least in the right position. I know we're pretty good. I don't need to look on the right side. We're pretty good on the uh, the wall. Let's go ahead and just take a look anyway. Yeah, we're doing all right. I want to get the back end of the trailer in that general area. It looks pretty empty over here too, which is good. So let's just go ahead and try to Nagle this thing in here. There we go. A little bit. Little, little adjustments. That's all you want to do. Nothing crazy. Alright. That wasn't that good. Could have been better. Could have been better. So, we need to come over. And there we go. Okay, and we just back it straight in. For the most part. And we'll stop right... Right there. Perfect. Parking brake. We will turn the hazards off. Take a quick look at our truck. That's nice. That is a nice shot. This truck is very photo, or this, this, this game is very photogenic as well. It's very, you can grab so many photos from it. So we're going to drop the trailer. We went 493 miles. It wasn't 480 like I thought. It took us 9 hours and 30 minutes. We consumed 84 gallons of fuel. We got $10,988, $11,000 dollars pretty much, and 655 XP, which ranked us up to rank 12. Which uh, pretty much just means that we're going to go fragile cargo. We're going to put one in fragile. Um, but rank 12 pretty much means that we have unlocked a bunch of new truck parts. So for the Peterbilt, we have the new 500 horsepower, uh, Packer MX-13. And we also have the new Eden full 18 speed with retarder, which is something that we really want to get. We have the 18 speed. We don't have the retarder, so we should get that. So $14,000. Um, and then a new set of wheels. But what we're going to do is we're going to do what we talked about. We're going to go ahead and just repay our loan. It's $82,000. We have $136,000. Let's just go ahead and repay it. We have $54,000 left. So at least we're out from underneath the, uh, the, the debt situation that we had. So we're nice and clean and good and ready to go. No more debt. So what we'll start doing is we'll start saving up a little bit of money. Um, I might go ahead and buy that Eden transmission with the retarder. We'll see. Might be something that I can just hold off on. But uh, for the most part, we're going to try to save up, upgrade our garage so we can buy a new truck, and then eventually get to the point where we can buy the Kenworth. Or maybe even at that point, they'll release a new truck. Who knows? We'll see. But I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like button. It really does help me out. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of American Truck Sim on this channel. It's the easiest way to tell me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.